Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Randy. I'm here with my HTC Evo and today I'm going to be showing you Cyanogen Mod version 7. This is running on Gingerbread 2.3.2 and uh, I would not recommend it as a, uh, a daily ROM yet, but it's definitely getting there. Um, I've been having a hard time with GPS. It kind of comes and goes. Um, so you might want to reconsider using this if you're uh, really into your GPS. Um, otherwise, not too bad. Um, trying to run the quadrant scores. I've been getting errors. Uh, sometimes it won't finish. And sometimes it'll run, but it won't uh, show video. So I'm not entirely sure what all that's about. But uh, I'll go ahead and start with going into settings and showing you that this is... Uh, this is what I say it is here. Um, Android version 2.3.2. There's the rest of my information right there in case you're interested in it. And uh, please forgive me if I kind of fumble around on this phone a little bit. I just switched over from the Samsung Epic yesterday to the Evo. And I mean, I wasn't more than a few hours ago. I actually just learned how to root this thing. So uh, I'm still learning, but uh, I love making videos on this kind of stuff and uh, doing benchmarks and giving people an idea of what they're getting into before they actually jump into it. Really good scores there. Now we'll go over to Quadrant. And we'll see if we can get this thing to work this time. And there's the video issues I was telling you about right there. <clears throat> Otherwise, though, it's not a bad ROM. It's, it's a really good ROM, and, uh, yeah, Quadrant's not going to work. I'm not even going to try it again. So, I've got another one we can use for comparison. It's called uh, SmartBench 2010. A lot of people are using it now because uh, Quadrant's been deemed by several people as unreliable, but uh, I don't know if this will make it any better. Where is it? It is gone. There it is. I apologize about that. And normally I would do the video showing how to flash the ROM first and then showing all of this, but uh, I already got Cyanogen Mod installed, so I'm not going to do a how-to on the uh, flashing part of this. It's just like anything else. It's almost exactly like it was on the Samsung Epic as well, so... I will do uh, how-to videos on the rest of them, though. Um, the rest of the uh, ROMs that I install and do demos for will have a how-to on them. <clears throat> and this is really the biggest difference that I've seen between the Epic and the Evo. The Evo is a really quick little phone. I mean, this thing really moves. It's got some pretty impressive scores. But uh, when it comes to video, uh, it just doesn't have it.
and the top graph right <clears throat> sorry frog in my throat um, the top bar here is the Evo I was hoping I could get a focused in a little better on it but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen There you go. That should be a little bit better. 1079, and as you can see, the Samsung Epic down here is an 1127. And then as far as gaming goes, you're looking at an 847, whereas the Epic was a 2679. So, uh, yeah, big difference there. But uh, anyway, this is, this is Cyanogen Mod version 7, um, Android 2.3, like I said. And otherwise, though, it's a great ROM. It's a lot of fun. I can't wait for it to be a little bit more reliable. But uh, all in all, good ROM. They've done really good work with it. If I can get it to listen to me. And here's your dialer pad. It's really nice and clean. And other than that, that's really about all. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to post them under the video. And I will provide a link to this ROM um, to the XDA developer form where you can download the ROM, read all the instructions and everything. And uh, feel free to post comments, like, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.